Hey, Scott and Tanya and my family at The Healing Place. I have no words to express how much your faithfulness and miraculous giving has meant to us over this crisis that we've been part of in Ukraine. Scott, the other day, I saw something that made me stop dead in my tracks. The New York Times and the United Nations both had articles stating the coming winter in Ukraine is going to be dire. Six months ago, I would never have believed the orphans' hands would be caught up in the middle of this war, caring for thousands of souls made homeless in the middle of the war. The orphans' hands is announcing a humanitarian drive today to gather as many warm coats as possible of all sizes to be sent to the war zone where the human suffering is already extreme. There's a miracle in your closet just think, your gently used coat sent there through the orphan's hands could mean the difference in the suffering of a mother and her children. Please watch this short video and consider reaching into the lives and with care and hope. Imagine, the Russian tanks have arrived. You have two minutes to grab your little children, grab whatever paperwork you think you need, and run. In two minutes, you have lost absolutely everything. Your house, your job, your car, then it gets agonizing. You must leave your husband. If he is between the age of 18 and 65, he must stay and fight the Russian invaders. So you end up at whatever border is closest. 10 million have run away. 490,000 came to Moldova, broken in spirit, broken money and shattered as a family. She's been sitting for months in a cold concrete building with a mattress on the floor, waiting for this hell to end. August is a hot, humid month in America. Yet, we are only two months away from October, when the weather changes drastically in Ukraine. All this year, we have cared for these lost souls as they came to Moldova. And through our convoys of care that have driven 12 hours one way to Kiev, Irpin, and Bucha. Our teams have continuously returned, feeding thousands of those who have been unable to leave. Winter is fast approaching. We must help them survive the bitter weather that is to come. We are preparing a container of hope and comfort, filled with warm coats, gloves, scarves, each one a symbol of God's care. Can you help us bring them coats for Christmas before the winter comes? Hey there, everyone. As you know, we have been uh, a partner in what is happening in the Ukraine. And man, God has done some miraculous things. And we've been a part of uh, Orphan's Hands in Moldova for years now. And uh, this is no exception. We're going to accept the challenge. And one thing that we're going to do, here's, how, here's what it looks like for the Healing Place. We are going to be a drop-off location 
for clothes, for coats and blankets. We are also got several uh, drop off locations across our region that are going to be established uh, for churches, for individuals, for businesses to be involved in this. Um, we are going to do this for uh, the whole month of September because this has to be done by the end of September so that it can be shipped out in October to get there for the winter season. Again, um, you know, we, we begin to think about winter seasons and we think December, January. But what we don't realize is when things are going across the world, you have to get it way ahead of time. So we're going to be a delivery uh, and a drop off location. Uh, we're going to be gathering for the next five weeks. Uh, coats uh, gently used or brand new blankets. Same thing. Uh, toiletries. The toiletries are from Moldova for all the people who are coming out of the Ukraine and into Moldova that the orphan's hands are taken care of. So it's kind of a, a, a dual mission. It's Ukraine on the ground, coats and blankets, and then it's toiletries and basic necessities for those that are coming out of Ukraine and Moldova. Here's how you can be involved as far as our THP online community is that we believe one of the best ways you can be involved if you are in our region is drop off location. You know, uh, here uh, we're going to have information that's going to be put out. We're going to have different links to different things in the coming weeks of how you can do that. One of the ways, one of the easiest ways you can do that is giving, is that you can give to it. Uh, you can give to uh, Ukraine or Moldova um, and, um, and don't market BGMC. Uh, but just THP Compassion, give to Ukraine and Moldova. We'll know where that's going to go. Then we will purchase those things. Those things will go in the shipping container and be sent. And what you will also uh, recognize when you go online to give is that we have begun to transition to a different platform that's going to help us do so many different things. Also, it's going to help us be better stewards of what God's given us. So we're making a transition between Easy Tithe and what's called Realm. And so you'll have the buttons there and you can set up an account with Realm if that's what you want to do. That would be great. Um, and uh, so this is what we're doing. This is how we're going to be involved. And uh, we hope that you will partner with us, that we can all partner together uh, to meet basic needs, but not just meet basic needs, but do it in the name of Jesus. Because when we do that, it's, it's not just giving a cup of cold water, but it's giving a cup of cold water in Jesus' name. Now it doesn't just meet a need, a momentary need of refreshing. Now it has eternal value because it's been done in Jesus' name. So we would appreciate you guys partnering with us as we all partner together to make Jesus known, but also to, to just love our brothers and sisters and take care of some needs.